Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. In the previous video, we talked about count rows. Now in this video, we'll talk about how to remove all rows from the collection. It means how to clear the collection. Just take one action stage here. Double click on that. Change the name like remove all rows or like you can write clear collection. Now from this business object select collections and from this action select remove all rows. Now in the collection name you need to put that collection name in the double quotation because it is just accepting text data type. Now there is no output required here because it will just take input as a collection that collection name and then it will just clear out that collection data. This is required when you are working on any collection data and on the runtime you are writing some data to the any other collection and at the end you need to clear that collection so that you can write other collection data to that collection right. So instead of appending instead of writing the, to the same collection first you will complete your work with the same collection and then moving forward you can clear that collection and then you can write data to that collection with the other work right so this is the same scenario here we have so if you can see here we have 10 rows it means we have 10 records in our collection that is our initial value and as I told you that here I have added as initially but you will not have initial values sometime you will have that but you will take data from your excel and then on runtime after some steps you will clear data from there. So now I am going to show you how to do that link this now reset this run this now you see here currently our master collection is empty but if we we'll double click on this if we we'll go to initial value our initial value is still we have 10 records but our current value is clear right because we have used remove all rows so that will remove data from your collection it will not directly remove from your initial value that will just clear your current values on run time but once you close this one you will have the same data in your collection because that is your initial value right same as like you have data initially in your excel file you will get works it as a collection and then on run time you have data in your collection because you have read the data from your worksheet and store in a collection and once you remove all rows from there that will be removed from your collection and then your collection will be empty but you have data in your excel sheet that will not be removed i hope you like this video if so then please like this video and if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe this thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much